Ever wonder about the tangled tales hidden behind closed doors? Today, we're unraveling the story of two of America's most intriguing hoarders. They had a whole park named after them. Right at Harlem's Fifth Avenue, you might just step into their legacy without even realizing it. Brace yourself as we dive into the world of the Collier brothers. Now, let's dig into the lives of Homer and Langley Collier two brothers born into a life of affluence who traded ballroom galas for barricaded doors. Their tale is more than just a saga of clutter. It's about the impact of wealth, isolation, and possibly homemade radio out of a Model T Ford. Talk about resourceful, right? In their heyday, these brothers rubbed shoulders with the CRME de la CRME of Manhattan society. However, their story took a turn when, in 1909, they moved to a Harlem brownstone. Picture this, their dad, a renowned gynecologist paddling a canoe to work each day, and human organs perched in jars around the house. They surely defined eccentric. Homer, who worked in real estate insurance, was known to trek eight miles to work on foot. Meanwhile, Langley tuned the ivories as a piano dealer. But the plot thickens, the Great Depression triggered a series of events that prompted these high society brothers to recede from the world. The outside chaos turned their home into a fortress a labyrinth of traps and puzzles. Langley was now Homer's eyes, and his nighttime strolls became the thing of neighborhood gossip. With the looming fear of burglars lured by rumors of wealth hidden in walls, the brothers transformed their home into an impenetrable maze. Langley toured the darkened streets, scavenging for eclectic trophies from bird cages to rusty cans while Homer, blinded and restricted by rheumatism, awaited his brother's nightly return. Amid all this, Langley was convinced his mix of oranges, peanut butter, and black bread, paired with restorative reading material hence the newspaper hordes would be Homer's panacea. Tragic hope? Perhaps, but there's something quite touching about it, isn't there? Their reclusiveness sparked countless rumors, and despite living off-grid, the duo was clued into current affairs, thanks to Langley's makeshift radio. They managed to evade eviction and maintain their labyrinthine home until one fateful day in 1947 when assumption turned reality. One of the Collier brothers was indeed dead. The discovery of Homer's body opened a Pandora's box, revealing Langley's fate victim to his own booby traps. Their collection was staggering. Pianos, books, bizarre paraphernalia all amounting to an incredible 120 tons of stuff. This snapshot of the Collier home might as well redefine excess for you. Eventually, the Collier residents met the wrecking ball, and all that remained was an odd, small park bearing their name a curious homage to Harlem's hoarding hermits. Surprisingly, this memorial park stirred debate years later. What did they offer to be commemorated this way? Yet, the city kept their memory alive. A cautionary tale for untidy children citywide. Now, let's shift gears. Why do people hoard? It's not just a spectacle for television, it's a genuine psychological puzzle. Ties to OCD, depression, anxiety, even ADHD have been made. The Collier saga, steeped in familial upheaval and personal health crises, resonates with many. Hoarding starts innocuously in untidy corner, a reluctance to discard. Without proper support, it can spiral out of control. If this tale has you casting a worried glance at your cluttered spaces, fret not. Dive into the world of organization and minimalism. Arm yourself with knowledge to combat chaos. Remember, it doesn't take a sprawling mansion to create a harrowing horde. Now, gentlemen, I urge you, look around. Could your surroundings use a declutter? Don't just watch, act. Implement the insights shared today and redefine your space. Transform your home from a potential hoarder's haven to a tranquil temple of Zen. As we bring this fascinating tour to a close, consider this. What steps will you take to ensure your castle doesn't become a cautionary tale? If you found wisdom in our journey today, feel free to show your appreciation. You'll find a link in the description. And before you leave, hit subscribe, like, ring that bell. Empower yourself to forge the life you desire, secure in the knowledge that your living quarters will never rival the Collier Brothers. Let's keep the stories on screen, not in our homes. Thank you for joining me on this historical deep dive. Now go on, create a space that inspires, not expires. Greetings, gentlemen. Max Sterling here, and right off the bat, I've got a proposition that will ignite your intellectual curiosity. What if I told you that seemingly insignificant daily choices are the silent architects of your future? Stay tuned, because delving into this profound truth could be your first step towards a life transformation. Let's delve into a principle that embodies the monumental power of small, persistent actions, the concept of the magic penny. 
Imagine being offered the choice between a lump sum of $3 million or a single penny that doubles in value every single day for 31 days. While the immediate gratification of millions might beckon, it's the humble penny that unfolds into a staggering fortune of over $5 million due to the potency of compound interest. Now, apply this same principle to your daily habits. Just a trivial 125-calorie chocolate bar consumed daily, over three years, could lead to an additional 39 pounds. The reverse is just as true reading just 10 pages a day could equate to a wealth of knowledge amassed from 43 books within three years. It's simple math but devastatingly ignored by many. Ownership of choices is critical, gentlemen. The paradox of simplicity is that while beneficial actions are straightforward to implement, they're equally simple to dismiss. We often procrastinate, assuring ourselves that we'll take action, tomorrow, or next week. But real success stories, the self-made men and women of valor, are those who fully recognize that they've arrived at their current station in life due to their past decisions. The humility to acknowledge this and the resolve to pave a better path is what sets apart the victorious. Fully embracing that your life is the sum of your choices is a starting point. Make decisions, no matter how small, with intention. Even saving as little as $120 monthly compounds into a considerable nest egg over time. Consider the memories created by committing to monthly dinners with loved ones or the health benefits of regular exercise. These choices, while small, have a substantial long-term impact. Let's dissect the law of attraction, a common topic of entry. It's not a spell for summoning wealth while lounging on your sofa. Rather, it's the ability of your brain to spot opportunities relevant to your goals. If your goal is a new job, suddenly opportunities seem more apparent. Ads that would have gone unnoticed now capture your attention. It's about orienting your focus so that your subconscious can guide you toward your aims. Fill your mind with your aspirations and watch as your actions naturally align. Consider the adage, garbage in, garbage out. Feeding your mind and body with substandard inputs inevitably degrades your quality of life. Instead, make deliberate choices concerning your information diet, social circle, and nutrition. Implementing this level of vigilance can create a compound effect towards positivity and achievement. Now, here's the cue to action. If you aspire to transplant these insights into your life, there's no better time than now. Take a moment to hit subscribe, drop a like, and activate that notification bell by doing so. You're setting the wheels of change into motion, signaling your commitment to a brighter future. As we approach the end of our journey today, remember that each moment presents a choice, and each decision, no matter how many, shapes the path ahead. If you found value in our discourse, consider expressing your gratitude. A link awaits in the description for those moved to support the channel's endeavors. I shall leave you with this final thought. Of all the insights shared today, which will you act upon? How will the compound effect unveil its magic in your life? Gentlemen, the floor is yours to shape the foundation of your future. Until next time, wield the power of daily choices and forge the destiny you desire.